Their season might have ended last week, but the awards keep rolling in for Elmira College women's hockey. The Soaring Eagles made it all the way to the national championship, and their talent a huge reason why in the USCHO. Taking notice, the organization naming third-year head coach Dean Jackson the coach of the year, while senior forward Ashley Ryan was selected as the player of the year. Jackson and Ryan were also named the Division III coach and player of the season. Ryan finishes her last year with 61 points, second in school history. EC battled all the way to the national championship before falling to the defending champions Plattsburgh State. Seniors Ashton Hogan and Brooke Wilgosh also selected for All-American honors. Head coach Dean Jackson says this group has certainly left their mark. They bought into the culture, you know, with Coach Fargo and bought in uh, to, to what, what I was trying to do when I took over. And, you know, the, uh, in the last three years um, since I've been here, um, you know, I think this class has uh, accomplished uh, so much, I think. I think any more than a lot, you know, more than a lot of classes I think ever could in the course of their, their four years anywhere. So, you know, it's a testament to their hard work, their commitment, and their love and passion for the program and, and, and the team. And sticking with hockey, Cornell defenseman Joachim Ryan signed an entry-level contract with the San Jose Sharks today. Ryan will report to the team's AHL affiliate, the Worcester Sharks. Earlier this season, an injury forced Ryan to the sideline, but after missing six games, Joachim making up for some lost time. Ryan led the Big Red to the nation's best penalty kill in 91%. The senior All-Ivy League defenseman racked up 78 career points for the Big Red. And fellow Cornell defenseman Jake McDonald is going pro too. McDonald will be heading down Route 13 to Elmira. The defender signed a standard pro contract with the Jackals. McDonald will be eligible to play Friday and Saturday against the Florida Everblades. Well, the puck drops tomorrow at First Arena at 7.05. And the end of the season quickly approaching for the Elmira Jackals. But some solid time still left at home. The Jackals will play at First Arena tomorrow, Saturday. And this upcoming Wednesday, Elmira stands six points shy of making the playoffs.